boy King Ed the Great, aka Rick Coppo from Off the Cup Radio, Guillotine, Buddy Boy Entertainment, coming out with another video for the night. And I had to break some breaking news here. Whack 100 gets beat down on Mike Tyson's podcast. That's right, you heard it. You heard it first. And I'm gonna read y'all what Whack said on his Instagram. Pulled up on one of my legends, Mike Tyson, to do his podcast. Had a blast shit got warm in the room when Mike wanted to address the Tupac conversation. This pic was taken beforehand. The interview got it crazy and hostile. Shake my head. Going to be some conversation when this hits the hot boxing podcast. Frenchie knows the release of the day of release. Just know that this whack wasn't giving up shit and Mike is still quick with his hands. Ed Britton, sorry you had to see what you saw, but it's what brothers do when we can't solve the problem with reason. So, basically what this looked like is Wack caught the beats. Because then he posted up another pop picture, another video of him with some aspirin. And he said, like I said, shit got a little heated at the hot boxing podcast. Win, lose, or draw. I'm not going for it. Fred French, you're not to blame for me and Mike Tyson's situation. The dispute amongst men is just between those two men. I tell you, man, the ghost of Tupac is haunting these niggas, man. <laughs> well, yeah, man, it just go to show you that despite all that, Mike still got those hands. Mike still got those hands, and it was only a matter of time before Wack made his match. The dude been running his mouth for a while, but a lot of people tolerated it because of who he's connected with and the people that he worked with. Like, he's heavily connected in the business, so a lot of people just let it ride. And I noticed the other day when somebody brought up Tupac, he admitted himself that he was a Tupac fan. So, that told me right there that he was trying to humble himself before going on the Mike Tyson podcast because he knew probably Mike was going to get him upset and check him on him. So he pretty much changed his tone about addressing Tupac in a lot of ways because him and Pac, Mike Tyson and Pac were close. So I give kudos to Mike for doing what a lot of niggas were scared to do. And I want to see how this go down. This will probably be the biggest episode that Mike had. I hope they leak the whole thing, man. This will be straight comedy. So, what do you guys think it is? Y'all think it's a possible publicity stunt? Either way, I'm interested. So, check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the, uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. You know what the drill is. Holla back.